In this video, I'll show you how to fade audio in Premiere Pro. Hi everyone, I'm the Web Guru. I do tutorials on audio, video, and photography, so be sure to uh, leave a comment and subscribe. And here inside of Premiere Pro, I have a simple video put together, and I've added some music. So the music begins very suddenly. And then at the end, it ends very suddenly. So I'd like it to be smoother. So I'm gonna show you a couple ways of doing this. So the first one is transitions, and it's the quickest, easiest way. So what you can do is right click the very beginning of the clip, and then you can choose apply default transitions. This will automatically place the default audio transition, and it's going to be one second long. And then if you want it to be longer, so I'm gonna double click the transition. You can see it here as like a little, gray rectangle. If I double click it, I can change the transition duration. So uh, I'd like this to be two seconds long. And now it'll be a little bit smoother. Okay, so I like that. Now I'm going to do the same thing at the end. I'm going to right click the very edge of the clip, apply default transition, and then I'm going to double click the transition. And in this case, I'm gonna change it to three seconds. So it'll be even more gradual. And it's completely up to you. If you want it to be one second, two seconds, three seconds, you'll have to experiment. Now let's listen to this. Okay, so that fades out very nicely. Um, and so this is a very simple technique that you can use at the beginning and the end of any audio clip, um, but it's not going to work in the middle of a clip. So I'll show you another technique. So first of all, I would like to increase my track height. So I'm going to double click the empty space here at the beginning of the track. Um, and then you can also, there's like a little line at the bottom of the track, you can also drag that up and down to adjust the height. And you'll want to locate this white line that grows across the entire track. That represents the clip volume. Now, if for some reason you can't see that white line, you can right-click the clip, go to Show Clip Keyframes, Volume, and then Level. It's a little bit buried. And then you should be able to see that white line. And then with this technique, we're going to be using the pen tool. So I'm going to take the pen tool, and in the middle of the clip, I'm planning to add some voiceover. So I need to reduce the volume of the music. So what I'm going to do is, right on top of the white line, I'm going to create two keyframes. And then I'm going to take the second keyframe and drag it down to about minus 25 or minus 30, somewhere in that range. And now this represents the volume, so the volume will go down. Let's listen to it. Okay, so I like that. If you want it to be more gradual, you can move the keyframes a little bit further apart. Now it'll be a little bit more gradual. And now it'll stay at a background volume. For a background volume, uh, somewhere usually between minus 20 or minus 30 works pretty well. You'll have to experiment with your music or your audio. And then after a few seconds, I'd like the uh, volume to come back to normal. So I'm going to, on top of the white line, I'm gonna create two more keyframes. Then I'll take the second keyframe and drag it up if I want it to come back to normal, I'm just going to bring it back to zero. Zero just means normal. Um, if you drag it up too high, uh, like up here, then you'll get something called clipping. And then these red lights will turn on, which you never want. So I'll undo that. I'll just bring it back to zero. Now it'll fade back up. And then of course, if I want it to be more gradual, I can move the keyframes a little bit further apart. And now the music will um, start off normal. It'll fade down to a background level and then come back to normal. Let's listen to it.
Okay, so this is really good. So with transitions, we faded in and out at the end of the clips, and then using keyframes in the pen tool, we're able to adjust the volume in the middle of the clip. So the keyframes take a little bit more work, but they give you a lot more control. So hopefully that was uh, helpful to you. Let me know in the comments if you uh, like this video, and if you have any questions, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing a lot more tutorials like this. So I'll see you in the next video, and in the meantime, keep learning and growing.